I haven't made a good old Montreal Canadiens video in a while. That's how I started my channel, making Habs videos, mostly because the team has been more boring than the Fireplace channel to watch lately. But a few bright spots in all of the down, boring stuff has been Kirby Doc. He's been honestly one of the main bright spots on this Habs team. And it's really interesting because beginning of the year, I was hearing and seeing a lot of people like Tony Marinero, for example, saying, you know what, this Kirby Doc guy, you see that he's got the skill, but he doesn't have le chien, you call it in French. He doesn't have le coeur, like he, he doesn't... Like, he's missing that dog in him, basically. Well, now, you see it against Detroit last game, and a bit more, that he's got a bit of a mean streak, and he can turn it on when he wants to. And the skill level is high-end. It's elite, and he's starting to put it all together, so much so that there's some people in Habsland saying either Doc has a higher potential than Suzuki, or as high of a potential as Suzuki, which... To me, if you would have said that to me two months ago, I would have asked you where you got your stuff from because that would have been an asinine comparison to say that Kirby Doc and Suzuki were at or even near the same stratosphere. But you look at it again here and he scores his 11th of the season, giving him 33 points on the year for the Montreal Canadiens. And he's one of the only guys who's stepped up lately for the Montreal Canadiens since it's turned into a graveyard the past month and a half or so. And Kirby Doc is really showing how much upside, how much potential he has. And it's super exciting for Habs fans. Even if this guy turns into a 1B or a really, really solid 2C, I've been saying it for a while. If Kirby Doc turns into David Krejci, the Habs are laughing. They're laughing with how great this guy's going to be. And I think he's got even more skill offensively and more upside than David Krejci. I really, really like Kirby Doc, and I'm high on him. I really like him quite a bit. But what I want to talk about in specific is how big of a blunder this was for the Chicago Blackhawks to let this kid go. To put this in perspective, last week... Kirby Doc turned 22 years old. He turned my age last week. And, I mean, in a team that's rebuilding like the Chicago Blackhawks, look, the Alex Dabrinka trade to the Ottawa Senators, I understand that one. He's in his mid-20s. You need to rebuild. By the time you're out of your rebuilding phase, Dabrinka's going to be on the back half of his career, and you won't have gotten anything for him. I get that. Kirby, at the time they traded him, that's a 21-year-old Big centerman with lots of upside and skill and talent. You don't give those away. I've been saying this for months. Don't trade those guys. And yes, look, I'm fully aware that Kirby Doc flopped with the Chicago Blackhawks. And his time with that team was no bueno. He really did look like a bust there. But still, when you're entering a rebuild and you've got a guy who can play the middle, who's got size and skill and talent, and he's got some dog in him, you don't give up on those pieces. Those are the pieces you build around when you're having a rebuild. And maybe the 13th overall pick that they got from the Habs in exchange for Kirby Doc that they used to get Frank Nazar, maybe Frank Nazar is going to be better than Kirby Doc. It's possible. He's a top 13 pick, but... It just doesn't make much sense to me. Why? It seems like a weird downgrade or a lateral move that you didn't need to make. The guy's only 21 and they were treating Kirby Doc like he they broke him out of the retirement home. And now, like, I worry if the Blackhawks rebuild starts to go south and not exactly the way you planned it because you got boat anchors like Seth Jones, for example... They're going to look at Kirby Doc, who in my opinion is just going to keep growing and his, and his game is just going to keep compounding on itself. This is going to start to look worse and worse for the Blackhawks. You trade a former third overall pick for the 13th overall selection. Again, maybe they know something that I don't. Maybe Aladdin the genie came to visit uh, Kyle Davidson and told him, hey, this Frank Nazar is the steal of the draft at 13th overall. But the odds don't lie, and the chances of getting a superstar outside of the top 10 of the draft, it happens every year, but the odds that it's your team that's going to do it, it's rare, man. It's really rare. So to go from a guy just give up on Kirby Doc like that, 
and then take your chances with a 13th overall pick, it was a big blunder. And Kirby Doc's going to keep making them look not so great on this one. Let me know what you guys think about this, of course, in the comments down below. If you're new here, like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.